Jolene and Darren from Ride the Wind. This is our best selling mobility scooter. It's the Tau Freedom. This is the plus because it's got three wheels. And we ship these across Canada and they're pretty easy to put together. So this is your how-to. Um, we've already taken out of the box and Darren's taken off a couple of the, um, the brackets for the crate. And so this is how it is secured to the, um, to the frame. This is what you need, 10 mil wrench, Allen key and clippers. So, um, and I call this a star, I don't care. I haven't learned what they are. Oh. And it just came with your basket and your seat right there. So, um, Do you want to mirror it? Well, Darren's clipping the wire from the front axle. Now, this one is empty. Uh, this is how they come. So if you were to order, we would install the lithium with the lead acid and then it would get shipped to you with the batteries in it. So you don't have to worry about that, but it is a little bit lighter. Uh, the lead acid will have um, 60, 75 pounds of battery in it. And so you see how easy to just lift that up. The lithium is, uh, I think it's 22 pounds. It's a very light battery. They loosen that off and then you've got your two spacers and they're, is it two or one? Two. It's two. Yeah. And so they're put on the, the way that you should put them on. So if, small. If you're not sure if you mix them up, mm -hmm. put one on one side, one on the other. I'm going to do this wrong for starters, but if you look straight down that wheel now. Yeah. See one sticking out farther than the other. Yep. So you know those are backwards. Ah. Yeah. Well, make sure you got some, uh, make sure you got a, a, a gap in your brake pads. And then you open that with a flathead? Sometimes, yeah, with some tape on it so you don't damage the pad. You don't want to uh, Sometimes you need to uh, loosen this brake caliper off to be able to get the wheel in. We're going to try it without, but uh, more often than not, you have to uh, loosen that caliper off. Okay. So fender first, people. Underneath the seat, there is a bag with stuff. And so how do you know what to put the fenders on with? Those ones. So you take the caliber off? Uh, just a, yeah, it's just easier that way. And we just put the tire on and then... Yeah, so if you just, just twist your forks a little bit so they're, so your, your flanges are kind of, got you a little bit of a wedge. Mm -hmm. Get your bolt started here. And then for that axle bolt, you want that tightened like yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got a. This is a uh, what they call a crimp or a, a nylox nut or crimp nut. That's a crimp nut. So it locks anyway. But yeah, crank it is pretty much as hard as you can turn it. Uh, use a drill. No. No. Just do so it by definitely hand not so an impact can, gun. So you can feel it. No, don't put that on with an impact. <laughs> And so you did open that up with... Yeah, I'll just take a screwdriver and here, I'll just... Okay. Just so you don't damage your pad. And you don't have to crank on it. You just slide it in there. Just gently kind of turn it back and forth till it stops moving. Okay. And then, so you got a nice big gap in there now. And then you can just make sure you've got one pad on either side of your disc. Oh, sorry, I'm going to be fat head in here now. Okay. Six mil Allen key. Uh, don't forget to uh, top up or deflate the tires. Uh, Emo comes a little overinflated sometimes. Yeah, a t and a tau, tau is either there's 75 pounds or there's nothing. So make sure you check your tires. I'll tighten it again on the PDI when I'm finished. Why not just uh, do it all the way now? Because it's on a jack stand and I don't want to. 
lose it off there. Yeah. Well, it's just easier to tighten when it's on the ground. Uh, and then you get your boss to help you roll it off the rack. Yeah. Uh, we gotta clip the, yeah. Straight back. plastics off of these you actually have to loosen all the bolts underneath here so they don't bother to take the plastic off yeah so, all the, so they just so they bolted it instead of taking the plastic off and putting it on so you'd have to just i i'd take these off anyway i just loosen off these four screws and then just hold on where are those four? oh back they're Take right on these here oh it's yeah phillips hold that up Yeah. You don't have to take them out. Just lose some so you can take out. That, do you so want me to do that's this? That's your breaker. That Keep that off. Obviously, there's no batteries in this one, but you that's how you turn on your bike. And then that is your radio box. Um, so you can also charge your phone, but you plug a USB for music. Do you want to go through this uh, seat alarm while we're under here? Yeah. Okay, so here... And the only reason we're going to show you this is because these tend to wear out, and when they wear out, they leave you stranded. So, the, but the seat alarm is when you when the bike's on, and then you get off of the bike, it starts to beep at you, and it shuts everything off, so you can't go anywhere. Yeah. So if you don't want that on there, I just take this off. I usually make a shorting plug for this, but you could just cut these wires, strip them, and twist them together. Okay. And that will never happen. Okay. Those are the bolts for the seats. There. Five mil Allen key. So you need a six and a five. And so it's literally just putting on these four screws on each side. Yeah, we got little uh, uh, caps. These first. Uh, hold on, what, which ones did you use? Uh, so that's. This is your, that's your kit to put your, your basket on. Okay. And then these are for the plates, if you want to put that on. We just put ours on the basket. Um, and then these are the caps. So I just take one of these on my 10 mil and just, because some of these have burrs in them sometimes. If you get all ready to go and get your basket on, it's just a pain in the butt when they do that. Just want to kind of get, make sure everything's just like that. Is a technical term or is it well it's just like a piece of welding slag or something because they weld the bolts onto the frame so there's one so that goes in and sometimes these four. holes don't line up with the bolt holes so you kind of you feel it with your finger okay it goes on to that one so you need to be able to thread a nut on from that end so. is it going on okay and that one's not so if it doesn't thread it on the other way Oh, yeah. And, and just, and sometimes you need a little wrench to just, and then it'll clear the threads out. Yeah. Then you'll be able to get your, get your, get your thing on there. So, to get these ready. One nut on like that. One nut on like that. Okay, and these go in the top. So we'd clean these out, so you should be able to just put those in with your fingers. So that goes on there. What? Sorry, you didn't need two on here. Sorry, my bad. So the long ones just go, well, the, like, the weird ones go on the bottom because it makes up for the gap, right?
you know, nobody would know how to do these. Like, I would well, I because there's no instruction manual. So no. Well, the first one I did, well, it was kind of like this. I had every which configuration, and because it doesn't look quite right ever, but. And how would you this even know is what those they give ones? you? Yeah. And this is kind of what you have to deal with. So. Clean this off. No, it doesn't really go on there. Okay. All right. So on the bottom ones, you just want them flush, and then you spin this nut up to the top and tighten him with a 10 mil wrench. Mm -hmm. And these ones go down. Just yeah, just to kind of protect the. Take the seat, and you don't have to crank those down. Just to give them, just snug them up to the seat. Okay. And then just, uh, just turn these ones in until you get some resistance, until your basket's not flopping around. And then you can tighten your, uh, the one up against the seat again, just for. And your batteries are underneath this uh, bucket, so. Um, there's four screws to take that bucket out to access your batteries if you need to. If it's a lithium, then we put the lithium in the bucket. So it's just a super easy in and out. Just remember to turn your breaker off before you take out the lithium battery. Oh, yeah. So here's the completed product. Um, all We put the mirrors on. I have another video of how to put those on. You have to turn them and then tighten the nut. Uh, sorry, the bolt there. And then Darren just put that down. Those are the covers for... Um, your bolts here. So thank you for watching.